global economy continues to be volatile, where do you feel like your money is safest? This week, let's talk about that. Do you have faith in the stock market? Are you kidding me? I'll go to Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas. Play blackjack or play roulette. That's when you have a chance. You have faith. Um, it's not too much, but I'm still worried because they're falling down. But you haven't pulled out yet? No. It'll come back for sure, for sure. Do you have money invested? No. <laughs> so you don't trust it that much? Uh, well, I just haven't got the money. If you have the cash, now's the time to buy. Everything's low. But what if it just keeps crashing further? If you have the money to lose, you lose it. <laughs> if you don't, don't play it. Do you have money invested? I don't invest. <laughs> We're coming on hard times and everything, and the economy is not stable. So at this, at this present moment, the stock market is not safe. So where's your money? Under my mattress. The way it moves up and down, it's really, it's just a game. So I have no faith in it. Is it so why do we play a game with our security? Well, what are your choices? What are you going to do with your money? Are you going to put it under the mattress? <laughs> I don't think that's going to work too well. But what about in gold? You can put some in gold. Like Warren Buffett says, you take something from under the earth and you dig it up and all of a sudden you put dollars into it and then you have to get your money back out from selling the gold itself. It doesn't make sense to me. And if things were to get that bad to where you have to uh, put your money in gold, I don't think the U.S. government would allow um, gold to undermine the currency. So. Is there a chance that we could go back to a system of bartering or more local kind of exchanges? Uh, I don't think so. Right now, we're living in the last days, and God said before the last days, man would be level of money, and that's what they is, levels of money. So is that what we're seeing? We're seeing signs of the end here with what's going on with the economy? I think so. No matter where you keep your money these days, the bottom line is no place will ever be completely inviolate.